Welcome to the Games Freezer. Hello, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer, and this is our 10 minute taster for Conan Exiles on the PS4. Now, this game's been out for a while on Steam, um, it's come out of early access, and it's got a PS4 release as well. And it's got fairly positive res reviews um, around the block on the on the Steam reviews. So, um, it's been an interesting one to play for me because I don't normally play these type of games. It's a survival game, um, open world. Um, there's quite a bit to it, lots of mechanics and things to learn, sometimes a little bit tricky. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually cooking at my fire uh, in front of my little camp bed that I've made out of sort of leaves and twine. So I'm cooking a bit of human flesh as you uh, sort of work your way around the levels, you end up uh, butchering people that you kill so as you can cook their flesh which is uh which is nice um so yeah so i'm just cooking it up to make sure i've got enough uh, energy um you can actually grab things as you go around the level um as you forage for supplies such as stone and uh, wood and twigs and you also pick up insects um kind of witchy grubs and things like that you can eat but you know one of the things you can cook on the old fire there is a, a bit of human flesh or some feral meat or things like that so on this menu that I'm looking at at the minute there's a kind of crafting menu there that you can use to um, craft together the um, the items that you've found around the uh, open world um, so using your stone using your wood in order to create um, things for your base um, there's also this attributes screen that you get points as you level up to um, work through the different attributes. So at the minute I'm concentrating on strength, vitality, encumbrance and a little bit of survival. Uh, encumbrance would be how much you can basically carry. So um, that comes in handy if anyone's played Fallout will um, we'll know that they're trying to... Uh, build up those points early on is always a good tactic so I thought I'd uh, do that as well um, so these knowledge points here enable you to open up different parts of uh, the, the knowledge tree in order to learn new skills so they're quite handy I've opened up most things that I can at the minute um, then we've got the exiles journey which is kind of showing you here um, as you achieve certain things so basic stuff at the minute I need block on attack um, for to close off chapter two of that and it goes in chapters as you work your way up and you've got this nice looking map as well that you use um no on-screen sort of uh, way of knowing which way you're walking so you do have to keep snapping back into the map in order to work out whether you're walking towards uh, a marker that you might have put on the map so that that's a bit annoying there are some small things that uh, do annoy you um as you work your way through the game actually um that that will where you get to choose uh, the items is a bit finicky sometimes trying to transfer things out of your inventory onto the wheel like I'm doing now just to get a bit of um, a bit of building material in there uh, so you have to get it into the wheel first and then you can choose it on the wheel in order to lay your um, lay your building materials down so let's lay some let's lay some foundations and create a a little uh, a little shelter shall we so a, a by four shelter um, should be nice and quick and easy to to build so we've got this kind of door let's have a door uh, where do we want it facing and face the um, face the campfire that's probably a good one yeah there we go so we've got a nice little door Right, so now I need to work with me wheel again. Um, what have I got? What have I got? Craft a few more bits. Uh, let's craft some frames. So these come with a little window in them, so as you can look out. So I need to get those frames, or those walls into my wheel so again I've got to fiddle around with inventory get those in there and um, building feels kind of similar to Fallout 4 actually 
maybe it's a bit better than Fallout 4 thinking about it because it's a bit more a bit easier to sort of place things where you want them they seem to snap a bit better onto the um, building blocks whereas in Fallout 4 it was a bit of a hit and miss sometimes you ended up like with some weird old structures but this feels a bit more secure when you pull things together so yeah so what I'm doing here is I'm snapping things into the wheel the things that I want to line up and use and then I have to go back into the wheel to, to use them so it's like L1 to go into the wheel there we go okay there we go alright okay so a bit of backstory to this while I'm building building the walls around the edges um, when you start you're on a cross um, you're nailed to this cross and then Conan comes along and releases you from your uh, from your punishment and it sets you free into this mad world um, the kind of Conan based world and then you're just basically let loose in, into the world and in that top right there you've got journey it sort of shows you things that you should be aiming to do to cover off each of the chapters so that's always a good um, thing to follow if you get a bit lost you know don't know what you're meant to be doing have a little peek up there but it's not hard and fast you don't have to do those things you can do them as and when in any in any order which is quite cool um, so yeah so you've got this um, these bed rolls that act as spawn points so if you die while you're on your journey um, when you respawn it'll be wherever you made your last uh, bedroll so let's put our bedroll um, again I'm gonna have to put it into the wheel which is annoying uh, okay and then I have to go to the wheel select it right bedroll in here in my little covered part of my house um, so yeah, so that is that. Let's get some rocks. So you use these tools that you build yourself. You build like a um, this kind of hammer kind of tool with a bit of a stick and some some flint and some rock. And then you can go about cracking down these uh, stones and adding them to your inventory. So you've got enough resource. So you do spend your time doing this kind of stuff a lot of the time um, which is quite fun actually so quite therapeutic when you find a nice quiet area in the game where things are not attacking you and then that's always a good place to sort of just set up to to uh, make a camp so I'm just fixing my uh, my hatchet there because it was uh, running low on the old damage and now I'm alright to go again so chopping wood with different tools gives different results as well. So if you use a pickaxe on a on a tree, then it actually gives you uh, bark as well as wood, as well as branches. So you've got to experiment a little bit with the tools that you make in order to get different resources. I mean, if you walk up to like stones, small stones, you can just pick those up without a tool. So early on, that's what you find yourself doing. You're sort of wandering around, pressing square button a lot, just gathering resource and uh, seeing what you can find. Which is, um, I'm probably about, I don't know, a couple of hours, two or three hours in at the minute. So I've uh, sort of worked out the kind of tools that I need in order to um, get the resources that I require at this early stage. I mean, there's so much to learn. There's so many things to build, and you can actually end up building super structures you know um, the, the more skills you get and the more experience you get right, let's just uh, try and put a roof anyway on this little shack of ours let's create a proper shack shack attack right, there we go pop that in there pop that in there yes got a lovely little starter home with kind of separate sleeping quarters lovely stuff somewhere to cook on the fire out front it's quite quiet around here there's no no monsters or anything uh, disturbing me, which is always nice. Nice quiet place. Um, like I say, that's kind of rare around these this area. But this is early on in the map, and the, the further you go north, so I've heard, the more trouble there's going to be. Um, I suppose there's maybe some in-game material up that that far ahead, so. You kind of need to level up down here and then venture northwards, is what I gather anyway. 
from a few videos that I've watched uh, on YouTube. Right, I'm going to put a little simple wooden door on the uh, front of our hut. There we go. Whee, home sweet home. Yeah, have a little jump for joy. Get in there. Stuff. Yeah, that'd be worth about 600 grand in London. Uh, one bed uh, studio flat with uh, excellent views and a lovely garden and lovely wildlife. Right, anyway. So that's a bit of building for you. So let's go on a little run. Pick up things as we go along. Picking up branches as I'm running past them. Got a fairly decent length of time that you can run on the. Just press it um, down L3 and then you, you continue running. Climbing mechanics, all right. It's not bad. It's no uh, Legends of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, but it's it's all right. It does the job. I think that's a fairly new addition as well to the uh, to the mechanics. The uh, jumping. And not the jumping, the climbing. So you can literally climb anything that you can find. Now here's a sword that I've made. The double-handed sword. It's fairly powerful for this point in the game. Oh, how did I end up on them spikes? Right, so let's try and sneak up on this camp. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. It can be pa fairly powerful. Yes, nice. Nice bloody mess that they end up in. Got that geezer over there. That what's he up to? Looks like he's kneeling down to pray or something. Oh, it's a bird. Bird on bird action. Oh, nice. That's it. So I've used a mixture there of the special attack and the, uh, the standard attack. The special attack obviously got a bigger animation to it, so it leaves yourself open if you miss. Whereas the standard attack's a bit more of a to the point. Right, so I'm just hacking up some human flesh. You also get a bit of hide as well for hacking up and butchering the people that you've just killed. Which is a bit grim, I know, but there you go. Um, right, you can get the loot as well. The loot bag, nice. There's the fiery archer in here somewhere, but I can't seem to see where they are. So we'll just take the loot. Mm, yeah, they look to have disappeared, which is a bit odd. Let's see what's in their loot chest. Uh, that's one thing I didn't make in our little camp. I should have made a loot chest so you can store items in there. So as when you um, die out in the wild, then uh, you don't lose everything. You can go back to your loot chest and take out the stuff that you maybe you've collected. I'm actually playing it on easy. The um, reason I did that is I just want to get used to the mechanics and the way it pans out. I think hard harder difficulties might be a bit too unforgiving for someone like me who hasn't really played um, any survival games um, I've watched a lot of people play them but I've never really got involved like lights of rust um, etc so uh, I thought I'd just yeah I thought I'd just start with a nice easy level ease my way in and see how we go I think you can change it as you go along actually I'm also offline as well um, as one of the recommendations that was made but get used to the way the game works and then maybe enter the world of online which is again going to be a little less forgiving and uh, give yourself more of a challenge right so let's just scout out this area see who's about Got some uh, kind of antelope down there let's try and take the high ground see what we can see no people anyway by the looks of things Nice vista across there. Oh, nice waterfall. Lovely. In places, this game looks absolutely fantastic. And for an open world made by an indie developer, it's uh, pretty impressive. Alright, what have we got here? Anything of note? What's that in the distance? It looks like a. Giant spider. Ooh. I hate spiders. Especially the ones that are that big. Jesus Christ. Bit like a false widow. Gotcha. Ooh. Alright, let's, uh, let's hack her up. Nothing on it. Let's see what we get. Feral flesh, feral flesh. And chitin. Chitin and the chitin. Mm, not sure what chitin is. 
You might be able to use it. Ooh, what's this? It's like a bit of a temple. Let's fast forward a bit. So I had a bit of trouble with the uh, the river there. Let's take you to this temple as I sneak up. You know me, still same old G. Alright, okay. Really, if I had my bow and arrow, which I haven't, Someone's coming. I could have done this stealthily, so let's just get in there and deal with them instead. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, we've got, we've got three of them. What have we got, lads? XL2, yes. This sword's pretty bloody good, to be fair. Nice. Right, it's got a bit dark, so I've got to turn my lights on. Look at this. Looks as though they were praying to some god. So you get to choose a religion at the start. I'm not too sure how much of a role that plays in the overall gameplay. But I think you can build, like, um, different statues uh, for people of the same religion to come and uh, pray at and worship. I haven't explored that too much yet. Not so many, a couple of hours in. Right, let's hack some hide. Get some human flesh and get a we weathered skull. Nice. Right, okay. Are we done? Oh, there's a little. Uh, oh, there's my campfire from when I was here last time. So I've been here before. Uh, you, Wherever you make a campfire it actually stays and it's quite handy for cooking. So let's have a look. Right, I'm kind of heading in the right direction, I think. Where I want to go. All of a sudden, it's got kind of spooky. The thing is, because my sword is double handed, if I draw my sword, then I have to put away the torch. Now the music's gone all creepy as well. Do -do 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 -do. Let's chop a tree down. Make myself useful. Hmm. Doesn't seem like you need sleep, which is odd. I thought you might have been able to have the option to have a kip, especially if you've got a little um, shelter. What was that? Sounds like them bloody spiders. Ugh. Do actually get a chill down my spine when I uh play a game with spiders and I'm extremely arachnophobic. Oh, what's going on around here? I think this is where that um, waterfall is, isn't it? What's that? No, that ain't it. This kind of area... Yeah, it's got to be the waterfall because I can hear the water. Okay. Bet you in the light, this is not a, a very um, scary area, but at the minute, I'm expecting at any second for a spider to jump out on me. It actually creates a decent atmosphere, this game. I do, I do enjoy it. Um, I've put a bit of time in it so far. And uh, hopefully I'll be putting a few more hours in as well. Let's see what happens anyway. www.gamesfreezer.eu <laughs>